Yeah. So are you recording? Yeah. What? Yeah. No, we should. I'm gonna like upload it to my channel. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh yeah, we figured out how to vlog down the same. How do you do it? You have to go on DuckDuckGo. Oh yeah. yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Dude, now they're gonna block DuckDuckGo. Yeah. Yeah, Shane! <laughs> Dude, you're the idiot. You're the controls on Libtar's Epic Style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's sick, What do you mean? I thought you were a big gun enthusiast, Wait, what? I thought you were a big gun enthusiast. I am. Wait, did you say I'm not against gun laws? Are you against gun laws? I'm against. I'm a, I'm not. I'm against, like. Banning certain guns, yeah. I'm not against gun laws. It's like blocking it. Why are they doing this much? I mean, I just think that uh, a lot of the people pushing for stronger gun mods are highly uneducated about on the subject. You guys, you have your, uh, you guys have Mark <laughs> yeah. 2? Anyone Wait, have their where? Mark 2? Right there. 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 Right Let's go talk to Ed. Yes, Ed. Ed, let's get it. Yes. I love you, Ed. The fucking baby. Yes, Ed. Epic Despacito. Dude, we're trolling you with what? I'm not just rolling, I'm just... We begin today by thanking you for joining us at the National School Walkout. By attending the protest today, you are participating in an event much greater in size and impact than any one of us could have alone. You are encouraging activism as well as using your voice as a student for positive change. Today we walk out for a purpose, to join millions of other students around the nation in protesting congressional reluctance to pass necessary legislative reform and to stand in solidarity with our fellow advocates. Yeah, we need yeah, we need a lot of teachers to carry in school. On February 14, 2018, 17 lives were taken by an armed shooter at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Today we would like to not only strive for change and support national student activism efforts, but also memorialize the 14 students and three faculty members who lost their lives on this day just one month ago. These victims include 14-year-old Alyssa Alhadef, 35-year-old Scott Beigel, 14-year-old Martin Duke Anguiano, 17-year-old Nicholas Dwarit, 37-year-old Aaron Feist, 14-year-old Jamie Gutenberg, 49-year-old Chris Hickson, 15-year-old Luke Hoyer, 14-year-old Cara Loughran, 14-year-old Gina Montalto, 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver, 14-year-old Elena Petty, 18-year-old Meadow Pollock, 17-year-old Helena Ramsey, 14-year-old Alex Schachter, 16-year-old Carmen Shentrup, and 15-year-old Peter Wang. We would like to take a moment of silence to honor these victims. There really is no other way to put this. Our representatives in Congress at every level have failed us. They've refused to make our voices heard. They've chosen to represent moneyed interests and the interests of the organized lobbying industry rather than the voices of students. They failed us in the most horrendous way possible. Rather than protect us, they have stood by as institutions of education have turned into war zones. They have allowed for the senseless destruction of lives through their inaction, determined only in their indetermination. Rather than passing reforms to help combat this epidemic of violence, they have tweeted out thoughts and prayers, 
and we'll no longer stand for it. Instead of taking swift action to ensure that Columbine, Sandy Hook, Parkland were isolated incidents, that they would never happen again, they've sat on their hands and allowed this cycle of violence to continue again and again, and we will no longer stand for it. The cycle of violence has become so ingrained in our society that the passage of time is marked only by body count and location. And after some, some weeks of conversation, the conversation slowly dies out. The outpouring of emotion dwindles down to quieter and quieter voices until they're gone forever. After Sandy Hook, with an elementary school filled with body bags, there was hope for change, but the same pattern prevailed. And after Parkland, there was no reason to think that this same pattern would hold. But it hasn't. The pattern's been broken. And the only change is that our brothers and sisters across the country, our brothers and sisters in Parkland have stood up and they've said enough is enough and they have refused to sit down. It is only through the refusal to comply with the interests of congressmen, of adults in power, that we've reached where we're here today, that we're still having this conversation a month later. It wasn't good enough for them that they didn't feel safe in their own school. It wasn't good enough that they were systematically denied the right to feel safe in their own classroom. And this is not something we ask because we want it. It's rather because we need it, because we deserve it, and therefore we demand it. As with all social issues, progress has been made by a small group of dedicated people standing up and saying that we're not gonna take it any longer. From women's suffrage to the civil rights movement to countless independence movements throughout the world, it has taken a small group of people to stand and say enough is enough. And simply put, that is what we're here today to do. We're standing up saying as enough is enough and we're refusing to sit back down. that we do not fall into the traps of complacency. We must actively participate in the fight against our nation's callous refusals to enact change. We must demand a culture free from preventable tragedy and civilian warfare. We must seek answers as to why the U.S. is the only nation in which we cannot be able, we cannot curb the exponential rate of violence. We must not accept the current state of our affairs as we deserve the fundamental right to be safe at school, a right that has been systematically denied to us. Since many of us are not old enough to vote yet, our voices are often stifled by our ineffectual leaders. In fact, we are often the direct recipients of their failures and the consequences of their passivity. But this will not silence us, nor will it discourage us. We will let these elected officials know that we will no longer stand for the status quo, as we are the powerful voice of the future. Some of us will be able to vote in the midterm elections this year. Many more of us will be able to flood the polls in 2020, and we will use this power to achieve much needed change. We will continue to assert our right to speak out whether it, is, whether it is through campaign volunteering, contacting representatives, civil demonstration, or simply broadcasting our platforms. It all starts with us. We, are, we can be pivotal figures in the larger movement to end this perpetual cycle of destruction. We can break through the social and political gridlock that is plaguing our nation. We can ignite change, so we must not lose our spark. For the aforementioned reasons, we encourage everyone here to continue the fight by contacting local, state, and national representatives. We have a template available addressed to Ohio Senator Rob Portman for those unsure of how to best direct their thoughts. At the bottom, there is room for personal thoughts regarding this issue, which can be included or not. Underneath your signature, you may write your personal address. Good morning.
morning, GHS. I just want to take a moment for, to thank you all for coming and exercising your right to assemble this morning. I am so proud that you've all chosen to make your voices heard today. Take the energy and the passion that you feel right now and turn that into a lifetime of participation in your nation. People our age vote in lower numbers than any other group in America. You all have these strong, visionary voices, and yet, come election time, most of us remain silent. If you're gonna be 18, by the time November 6th, 2018 rolls around, we can register you to vote today. All you need is a pen, a driver's license number, or the last four numbers, uh, the last four digits of your social security number, and less than three minutes. Be engaged, be an advocate, and vote for the change that America needs. Thank you, and drop your voter registration forms in those boxes. Thank you. So as our time here today comes to a close, I want to stress the importance of not remaining complacent moving forward in this process. Do not let what happened here today be forgotten tomorrow. Build off the traction that this protest has given us students. The national protest does not stop here today, but will continue on March 24th in Columbus at 10 a.m. and in Newark at 2 p.m. and will keep continuing as long as we make our voices heard. Perhaps even more important than the national scope of this protest is the fundamental change that we can make in our local community. While it might be more glamorous to march up and down the streets of Washington, D.C. in protest, we can have a continuous presence locally that has immediate impact, whether it be through volunteering, advocation, or expression. Do not underestimate the power of local activism. Former President Barack Obama sums up our message better than anything I could ever say. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. So as we wrap up here today and get ready to go back inside the school, I implore you to be the change that this country needs. Thank you. So we will be holding boxes as we go back into the school to collect uh, the voter registration forms and the letters to the congressman. Dude, I can't even move my fucking hands. Just, I need just either. get it to one of us. Dude, it's so fucking cold out here. I know. I just did this. I just did this little bit. There's no nice. <laughs> Yeah. I'm allowed to protest too. It's a free country. Yeah. So I use my. I will use my freedom. Of, I will use my freedom of expression as well. No, I'm fine with these protests. So I wouldn't be like, no, you shouldn't protest. I'm fine with the protests. I'm. I'm allowed to counter protest myself. That's true. That's very true. So free country. <laughs> well. Yes, Sarah High School. Did you record it? Yeah, I did. Why? I was serious. Oh. Yeah, no, I did. I'm gonna, like, fucking post it. <laughs> Call it epic, lived hard, Despacito style. Nice. Yeah. Did you, get, did you get this in there, the Defend the Second, or? No. Oh, no, 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 no I did, I did. All right, let's go. You want to get another shot at it? Get it, Ed. Get it, Ed. All right, dude. Here. There you go. That's good. It was such a good 